Yo, what's up, you guys? So, I'm gonna start this video here. Um, just because I'm almost to the area where I'm going to. Oof, I didn't realize how bad that was. It's definitely a mark. So, if you see that, I don't know what happened. I probably hit my chin on something and just don't remember. Also, North Dakota, why? Why? It's going to melt pretty fast anyways, but still, you know, it's not exactly ideal. But, as I said in my review of the Captain America Civil War 2-pack of Captain America, obviously, and uh, uh, Crossbones, I went and saw Endgame yesterday. Now, before we get started, this is a warning. This is a spoiler review. I was going to originally plan out to do a non-spoiler review. But because, like, you know, I'm trying to get the best spot here. Because I'm also trying to fix my clothes up. Um, it, like, I just didn't feel like doing it. Plus, like, I, I probably... Like I even told myself, if you try to do a non-spoiler review, it's going to be very hard. So this is a spoiler review. If you want me to do a non-spoiler review, just let me know and I will try my best to do that for you guys. Um, putting my clothes away, like I said. Uh, so that's going to be one to start. But, uh, so this movie... To summarize it to best is probably an emotional joy ride. You know, and like again, this is a spoiler review, so we're getting into like beginning of the movie here. Beginning of the movie you see Hawkeye or Clint or Ronan, whatever you want to call him at this point, he's teaching his new daughter, which I'm saying is probably the new Hawkeye, how to, you know, shoot the arrow and stuff like that. Well, I think, I think he goes into the garage or something. He looks out, his daughter's gone. And then he goes back out and he sees his wife and kids are gone. And that's where it really starts to set in. And then, so that starts off with kind of a depressing part. I can't remember what happened afterwards. What happened afterwards? Oh, that's right. They showed the, what's... They showed uh, Tony and Nebula. You know playing a game on, I can't remember the name of the ship, but Star Wars ship, or the Guardians of the Galaxy ship, and, you know, he makes that message for Pepper, eventually he sees this gleaming light, and it's Captain Marvel, and she brings him down to Earth. Basically, the movie in the beginning starts out kind of weird, like, you don't know what to feel, like, you, I guess you are supposed to feel sad, you know, because, like, it's it leaves off right where Infinity War left off. So, um, they get down there, and they're tracking Thanos and stuff, and they find him on this one planet, so they go there to kill him. Well, the only problem is, because their whole plan was basically kill him, grab back the Infinity Gauntlet, Snap, bring everybody back. He destroyed the stones by doing a second step, snap. So, Thor then just cut off his head. And that's kind of how the movie starts out. I know it's kind of weird, but like, it makes sense. You'll, you'll see why. Because, think about it. He didn't have the stones. So they can't bring everybody back. Well, that's kind of... I think that's where the title screen showed up. Then it goes to, like, well, no. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to remember all that happened in the beginning because, like, I I'm only remembering like the later stuff, the more awesome part of the movie, which I'll get to. Um. Well, there's a lot of comedic parts, you know. 
Well, eventually, I'm just gonna skip past some stuff because I don't remember it. Uh, Scott Lane exits out of the portal. And, uh, he's in a storage container. Uh, and so he sees a camera and he writes help on a cardboard piece of cardboard and he rises up to the camera. Security guard looks down and he's like, let's shot out. Well, then he doesn't know what's happening. So he's walking through this really, like, this, it's a deserted neighborhood, you know, the, the nature has taken over it. And stuff like that. And there's this little boy riding past him on his bike. And he's like, hey kid, what the hell happened here? Uh, and the kid just kind of sniffles and rides away. Well, then he sees this memorial and he prays to God that, you know, Cassie isn't there. And Cassie isn't there, but his name is there because he thought he, he was dusted. You know, because he went missing. Well, he ends up finding his daughter, who is much older, you know, and I'm thinking that she'll become Steiner, but that's a different story. Uh, and then he goes to the Avengers Tower. Not really a tower anymore, it's more just in a base, like a really big military base. And he goes up and he talks, you know, to them, like, Oh, there's like this time travel thing that we could do. And we need to get, you know, Tony. So they go to Tony, who's like set up like a good life with Pepper and his own daughter. And they're like, hey, we need your help. And he's like, you know, we got a second chance to bring everybody back. He's like, he's holding his daughter and he's like, Cap, this is my second chance. So... And then I think, well, then they go to Professor Hulk, which is probably one of the funnier parts of this whole movie, was Professor Hulk. You know, you're not used to see him so relaxed as the Hulk. And it's, it's hilarious. The only cringy part of that entire movie is when the Hulk did that. I, I, I was disappointed. <laughs> um... In that part. But I get what they're trying to go for. They're making fun of our generation. And I like that. I always like that because, you know, we kind of realize for a second how stupid, like, we sound when we're doing that. But, does this work? I this works. No, that doesn't work. Okay. So we're just going to sit you down. I'm going to stop walking around. So, of course, I'm wearing my Captain Marvel shirt. Um. And so they ask for his help. Well, they experiment with this. And so they use Ant-Man. And so they use him. And then he comes back. And he's a little kid. They put him back in. He comes back out. He's a old guy. Then he goes back in. And he becomes a baby. And then they put him back in. And he comes out regular. You know. It's kind of funny. You know. Uh, and I'm trying to kind of skip past... This part because like there's nothing really too big happening, and then they and then Tony fi finally cracks how to time travel. So they all go to they get their suits, they get their time travel suits. That's what those are. They're not quantum suits. Well, I I actually shouldn't say that because they use a quantum realm to time travel. So I guess you could say they're both. Either way, so they go to. All these different times. So, for example, they go to Earth to get... What was it? I think there was three stone. No, just two. I don't remember. But they go to Earth during New York. And, uh... They get, you know... They find the stone, the ancient one. Surprisingly enough... We got to see a front of the fighting that we never got to see before, which was some of the magic people, you know, fending off the Jatari, which is pretty cool. You know, I thought, like, you know, you know, now that I think about it, I've never thought about that before, that they were there during the Jatari, so it's a possibility that they had to fight them off, too. 
So that was pretty cool. Um, she was really cool. I'm trying to speed this up. Uh, so they get the stones eventually. They make this glove. Of Iron Man's glove. And so Hulk's like, well, Thanos... It almost killed him. And so he's like, well, if any of you guys use it, you'll probably die. Where I could possibly survive. So he uses it. He snaps it. Oh, and by at this point, I forgot to skip over something very, very important. I'm so sorry. In order to get the Soul Stone, you know you have to sacrifice somebody. Well, Clint and Nat go. And Clint, they keep trying to fight on who's going to go off. You know, Clint's like, I'm going to do it. Natasha's like, no, I'm going to do it. They keep fighting. And so Clint finally jumps off. But well, then Black Widow grabs him with like his like a little grappling rope, and she goes off, and they're holding on to hands, and Clint, and then she's like, "Let me go, Clint, let me go," and so she eventually falls and he wakes up with the Soul Stone. She doesn't come back. I hope you guys know that. Uh, in case, and even if you saw the movie, and because most likely you're watching this. To see what other people's opinions were of the movie. Of course, you know, basically, we love... If you're a Marvel fan, you're going to love this movie. But... They... That was the first Avenger that died. Um... The neck they couldn't bring back. So... That was kind of an emotional moment for me. Because... In case you guys are wondering why I kind of get emotional over that type of stuff. Usually I'm not one to get emotional over movies. These 10 years that I've been watching Iron Man, Captain America, all of these Marvel movies have really influenced my life. There's even, you know, I've taken, you know, advice from these movies. You know, there's some advice in there. It influenced me a lot, so it was... It's emotional to see characters die. For me, anyways. Then, it goes back... Well, when they get this stone, they snap. And basically, it's not like every superhero just shows up in the facility. Which I thought was a good thing. Because my thought was, well, they wouldn't just all show up there. Then that means everybody would show up there. Everybody that died would just show up there. So they just showed up where they probably died. Um, or dusted. And so, they bring back everybody. The one thing that we know how they brought him back was uh, Clint uh, gets a call from his wife. I'm going to skip over a few things. Well, Thanos attacks. There's this big army. Cap eventually gets Mjolnir. Uh, which Thor gets Mjolnir when he goes back in time to get the Reality Stone. Gets Mjolnir. And he fights Thanos, but his shield breaks. Which eventually, somehow, his shield actually, like, later on in the movie, you see the shield and it's fine, but it breaks when he's fighting Thanos. And so there's this big battle, and Captain America, it looks like Thor and uh, Iron Man are down, and Captain America is just standing alone with this huge army coming at him. And then all of a sudden, he gets this call from Falcon. He's like, hey, Steve, copy? And then you see all these different circles starting to appear. You know, like the Doctor Strange circle? It starts appearing everywhere. And you see, like, the Black Panther group. And you see Okoye, Black Panther, and Shuri all step out. Then you see another one where it has all the Guardians and Doctor Strange step out. You know, then it has some other portals, which has, you know, like, ships from Wakanda stuff come out. Then there's another portal from the Sanctum with Wong and, um, and all these guys. And there's kind of a comedic moment where, like, Dr. Strange's like, do you think we need more? And Wong's like, you need more? <laughs> you know? Because there, there's, like, a huge army of all these heroes and wizards and all this stuff. And even the Valkyrie come in. And it's really cool. You know, you see Spider-Man and Falcon and Winter Soldier, which made me emotional. Because if you don't know, from the MCU, Winter Soldier is my favorite. Got me really choked up for that. And all that stuff.
that stuff. And they're all fighting this army. Eventually, this Iron Man gets the glove. Oh, and by the way, Captain Marvel destroys the ship. Uh, I'm trying to think of everything that, and Captain America eventually gets the glove, snaps it, and all of his army goes to dust. And Thanos is the last one to go. Then, as I said before, Hulk said that if anybody else used it, they would die. Tony died. And that's putting it lightly. Because I got emotional about that. Well then, Cap goes back in time to place all the stones back. And he just stays in one time. And eventually... You know, Falcon and Winter Soldier, like, bring him back, bring him back. Well, then they see this old man sitting off in the distance, and he has a shield, and he hands it off to Falcon. He's like, how does it feel? It feels like it belongs to someone else. So, yeah. So, anyways, this is the end of the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.